Okay, so after that last video, I thought of a possible improvement. Um, I think what I would do, I don't know if I have this in my mind right, but I would put the uh, duct tape on the inside as well as the outside. Let's see here. Basically just double it back on itself so that the sticky is to the outside. Well, you say, okay, bozo, but you still have to get um, this around it, and this is just going to slide off. Well, yeah, it's going to slide off if I don't put another, um, just a quick layer of tape around that, but that's exactly what we're going to do. But this is going to help to keep this in better place, I think. <laughs> so we're going to do that, and then we're just going to roll it up, and this will be a simpler way to do it. And um, this way you can roll it as much as you want, you know, maybe you want it a little thinner profile, like this. So we can say, okay, I'm going to stop here. So you can just, oops, rip that off. And now... We're going to do a quick uh, tape around here. Just roll it so that it uh, is going to catch on the fire steel here so it'll have a base. I think what I'd do though is I would take some electrical tape disadvantage um, to this method is, I mean, look, I mean, I've, I've swallowed up half at least of my ferrule rod for my tapes and that itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soak this in water and I'm going to come back and see if we can still get it going. Okay, we're back. I completely submerged this for about 45 seconds to a minute. It's completely submerged. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shake it off and do what any person would normally do if their gear got wet. Try to dry it out. You can see it's really beating up there as I'm flicking. <laughs> might consider sticking it in your armpits or uh, try sticking it in your crotch. I know that sounds a little funny, but those are the two warmest places on your body. Dab that dry. Okay, now we're going to slice this open and uh, see what we got. Unravel this. 
chest here. And remember, we still have our piece in here. Now this, this feels damp to me, so this is a little sketchy. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a go. And I mean, it would be hard for it to get any wetter than it was. I mean, it was completely submerged. It wasn't just riding out in the rain a little bit. So we're going to spread this out a little bit. Nice, fine fibers. Okay, and this would be on your piece of bark. You would have your four stick platform. You'd have your little twigs across. You know, you'd have this here. You'd be ready to go be caught um, off guard. So now we're going to give this a go. And what do you know? It lit up on the first first uh, try. Yeah, baby. Okay, that went out, but that's okay. We can get it to reignite. We didn't burn it all up, but it's just going to be a little trickier than I thought. Reposition your sticks. Come in again. We're just trying to get this duct tape to take. If that takes, then we'll then we'll have it. Upside down first. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting it going. Okay. Sorry about the noise, folks. As you can see, the duct tape caught fire. Although this is not the best method for this. Uh, meaning it doesn't work as well when it's damp, but it is possible to get it going. I was just about to give up, but. We have a nice large flame envelope. By now your twigs should be catching fire and you'll eventually be able to add bigger twigs as you go. Okay, we're gonna take this idea, but in order to help hopefully waterproof it, we're gonna dip this steel wool, the entire thing, into this pot of wax. We'll see how it goes. The goal of this is to try to see if, uh, even if it gets submerged, if we'd still be able to light it with uh, greater ease because this has been um, completely soaked in wax. The disadvantage that I'm seeing right now as I wrap this is it makes it twice as thick. So just know that you're going to have to uh, cut it half the length if you uh, don't want this to look like you, uh, you know, tied a candy bar onto the end of your ferro rod. So tape this up and then away we go. I could have done a better job taping this here. There is some a little bit of give in it, but it's good enough for testing purposes. I'm going to submerge this for a minute, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Ran out of battery, so what we've done, to recap, is we've taped this piece of 
wax soaked steel wool. We've taped that to the ferro rod. Now we've sliced it open and we're going to unpeel it, uh, unravel it and see if we can get it to light up and if we have better results uh, not only getting it to light up but to sustain the burn much easier than last time. We had to struggle for a few minutes last time before we got a good light on it. We're going to see if we've remedied that or if this will have no difference at all. Peel this off of here. It's a little wet. We'll use this last. Dry this off as best we can. Wipe it off. Boy, that is soaked. If this works, that'll be awesome, but that is wet. Things usually do become wet when they're submerged in water. Shake this out. This doesn't feel too bad. I think this is going to work, but we'll see. Now, remember as always, spread the fibers, expose more surface area, expose more edges, easier to light, easier to burn, less frustration. Okay, once again, this is theoretically resting on the piece of bark. You have your little four stick Lincoln log thing, small twig like, less than a matchstick thick matches over the top. Then you add uh, your duct tape here, duct tape here, something like that. Now we're going to take our ferro rod and we're going to give her a light up here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, get that tape over there. All right. Don't get the tape on your hands. Because that'll hurt. Oh, man, that is burning so much better. Look at that huge flame envelope. Oh, yeah, that would totally work. We have this piece here. Oh, man, that is just beautiful. Huge flame envelope that lit up so much better with wax. I've never tried that before. That is just sweet. If you can't get a fire going with that, then that is awesome. I haven't blown on it or anything. All right. That is a success. We'll have to remember that one.